Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. So welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Andy with Boltworks Today, and this week I've got to take a short little break from the birch room, mainly because I'm on hold waiting for materials to come in, but I'm also waiting for some tools to come in. Now, one of these tools in particular that I'm really looking forward to trying, a, I, I think, is going to make really quick work and clean work of the, the shaving that I need to do up on the stringer of this Bertram. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a little pop-up booger right up in there where you can kind of watch that and get up to speed as far as what I'm talking about. So for this video then, I wanted to do kind of a, a tips and tricks. Uh, share, basically share something that was taught to me uh, close to 20 years ago by a friend of mine that I worked with when I was uh, still working at the marinas. So while I realize this may not sound like it's going to be a pretty sexy topic, it is pretty cool. And I'm going to be showing you the fastest and most reliable way that I have ever seen to tie a bowlin that is perfect every single time. Now bowlins are one of those knots that basically if, if you're going to be on a boat, you really need to know how to tie. It's probably the most widely used knot ever on uh, when it comes to boating and there's a good reason for it. Uh, if, you're, if you're not familiar with what that is, basically it's a knot that can take tremendous amount of pressure and no matter how much, how, you know, how much tension is put on that, the knot itself is easy to undo. Now some of the most common areas you're going to see this knot being used, um, you know, if you're on a sailboat you're going to be using that to tie on shackles for raising your main, uh, tying onto your, to your jib sheet, you know, on the clue for control for the sheet lines. Um, tying off on an anchor, uh, you know, making a, a makeshift loop for going around a cleat. I mean, the list just goes on and on. So again, this is one of the most commonly used knots when it comes to boating. And I'm going to show you what I think is going to be kind of a different twist on the way that you've always seen this done. Now, the way that I was first taught to do this, and I'm guessing it's the same way that you were taught to do this as well, is that whole rabbit in the hole thing. You know, you basically create the little hole, rabbit comes up, runs around a tree, and uh, dives back in before somebody catches them for lunch. Now, this works fine. It, it does. It works. It's fairly easy to follow, and it just, it works, but there's still a 50-50 chance that at least I am going to screw this up, especially if I'm in a hurry. Now, just as an example, one of the most, the, the, more, the most critical part of tying this knot is getting this first loop right. So now here, I'm taking the tail part and I'm looping it so that it's sitting on top of this other end. Now, what if you're in a hurry and you accidentally wrap it around on the bottom? So, rabbit comes up, runs around the tree, goes back in his hole, and it looks like it's going to work, but, oh, nope. Total fail, all right? Just total fail. Now, the way that I was, now the way that I learned from my friend, again, uh, quite a few years ago, it's, it's foolproof. There's no way you can screw it up and it comes out perfect every time. And I kind of wanted to be able to title this video the, the one second Boland, uh, but I don't know that I'm actually able to get it done in a second. I think I'm more, a little bit closer to, to two seconds. But I'll get more on that towards the end of this video because I'm going to try something that I think I think would be kind of fun to do. You know, kind of a little bit of a little bit of a competition kind of a thing. So, or if not really a competition, but you know, just maybe some bragging rights. So, anyways, so getting back on topic here, the way that I like to do this, and again, there's no possible way to screw this up. You don't have to worry about you know which way did the loop go or anything like that. Basically, you take one end, flip it over, come back around, boom. Done and done. Let me, let me zoom in here and I'll slow it down for you. It's basically take the bitter end of the line, put it between your two fingers, okay? You're gonna go over, you're gonna come up through this hole, twist your fingers around. So now you're gonna end up with something that looks like this. Kinda looks like the rope's giving me the middle finger. <laughs> but anyways, so once you're at this point, then you're gonna come, you're gonna, you're gonna take this, pull it around, and bring it back in, and done. Okay? Back that up, try it one more time. Got the bitter end, we got about uh, two, three inches overhanging here. We're gonna go over, come up through the hole, and kind of twist our wrist around. You want your fingers 
the inside of your fingers to be facing back at you. Then at this point, this is going to come back around and in this hole. Now, again, the, the, going back to when I said you really can't screw this up, is because the only way you can screw it up, it just, it, it's a, well, I don't know what you can. But if you were to come in and do this, now the only way that you could really screw this up would be as if you were to, this end, instead of going behind, would actually be going in front and then come back down. And while that does somewhat look like a bowling, it's not, because this tail end needs to be inside this loop. It just doesn't have the same kind of holding, holding characteristics or power that a, that a correctly tied bowling has. But this is not a knot that I would use for anything that's going to be holding really any, any kind of weight, a serious weight. Now, another reason I like tying the bowlings like this is because it is just stupid fast. I mean, what, if, if you don't kind of slow down and go through the motions, you can literally tie this in about a second. And it's perfect every single time. You don't, need to, you don't even need to be watching what you're doing. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to try and do this five times as fast as I can. And I'm going to, well, while I'm doing the editing, I'm going to actually time it just to see you know, how long it actually takes. So, ready? Start the clock. One, two, three, go. There's one. Two. I think that may have been the fastest one yet. One, two, three, go. So now just in case the camera angle was off and I was trying to record it earlier, let me show you show it one more time. So now, all right, so we've got our two ends, we've got our bitter end, and then the, you know, obviously the rest of the line. So we're gonna come over, come through and twist again, so my fingers are facing, you know, the inside of my fingers are actually facing me. Then this part is going to come behind, and then back down. You can grab it with your, th your thumb and your middle finger and pull it tight. So with, lit with just a few minutes of practice, I mean, it just becomes very natural and easy to do. So now, as I had mentioned earlier in this video, I wanted to originally title this video Tying the One Second Bowling, but I, I, I don't know that I'm actually getting this knot tied in a second. I think it's probably closer to two. But that kind of got my wheels turning, you know, as far as, well, can someone actually tie this knot in one second or less? So what I, what I want to do is I want to have, have a little bit of a contest. And it's not going to be anything serious. I mean, it's, this is all just kind of fun and games, but I think it'd be kind of fun. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll, I'll post this, this video uh, on my Facebook page as well as here on YouTube and everything else. But what I'd like uh, for people to try is to see if you can tie it in one second or less. And if you can, take a, take a short video of it. Again, it should be literally about a one second video. <laughs> but take, make a short video of yourself and post it as a comment on my Facebook page. And I'll have the, the, all the, the links and everything down below in the description. But post it there. And if you're actually able to get it done in one second, uh, I'll go ahead and I, and I will email you and give you a, basically a free copy of my resin guide. My, you know, it's a download resin guide that I wrote uh, last, I don't know, a year or so ago. But basically what that guide does is it goes through all the different resins, your epoxies, your, po your polys, your vinyls. It goes through all the, the different resins and, and kind of helps you determine which resin is going to be most applicable for what it is, whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it's uh, doing some structural work, you know, how you're planning on finishing it, if you're going to be finishing in gel coat or with paint, you know, fairing, all that kind of stuff. But it really kind of simplifies, uh, you know, the, the information that's out there because there's an awful lot of it and some of the information is just conflicting depending on who you talk to and blah, blah, blah. So, but anyways, so there's, there's the challenge. If you can tie this knot in one second or less, post it over on my Facebook page. And again, links will be down below in the description. Um, and if, if you're able to do it, I'll, uh, I'll email you a copy of my download guide. It's a 20-page guide that everybody that's downloaded it so far has found it very, very helpful. So that's my challenge to you. But I will say that this contest is only going to be open for the month of May. You know, after May 2019, it's gone. Or at least I'll delete it off my Facebook thing. Um, but at least for the, for the month of May, anybody that can tie this knot in one second or less, you'll get a free copy of my resin guide. Now with that, I'm going to wrap this video up and let the games begin. Now, uh, hopefully you found this video helpful or informational. If you did, 
hit that thumbs up button if you're not subscribed already. Hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you on board. If you have any questions, comments, anything kind of particular about this short little friendly contest uh, that's going to be going on here, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back with you. And as always, thank you for your time and thanks for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.